All right, welcome back, my fellow machine learners. In this uh, video, and in the next couple of videos, we are going to be looking at logistic regression, and this is for classification problems. Okay? So, uh, in the previous videos, we were looking at regression problems, and we looked at linear regression and how to fit uh, regression lines. But now we're going to move on to classification problems. So, to begin with, I would just like to recap. I want to do a quick recap of linear regression so that we've got a bit of a basis um, to compare logistic regression and, um, and see how they are similar. Okay, well, and how they differ. Number one, for linear regression, remember that the output is continuous. Okay? So, for example, what are we predicting? We are predicting, say, a continuous output, say, a house prices from $500,000 to a million dollars, right? So it can be any number between that. It's a continuous output or grades, uh, say, between 50% and 75% or 100%, right? It's a, it's a continuous output. So what did we want to do? We've got this data set. We want to fit a line to the data, which is our model, okay? It's our model or even our hypothesis. In order to fit that line, we need a cost function. And we saw that we could use residual sum of squares, RSS. We could use mean squared error. We could use mean absolute error, various types of cost functions. And then we needed a way. Remember, what was the cost function? Cost function was simply something that looked like this, y um, and y predicted, right? So it is some function that compared the actual y output with the predicted output. And remember, this is based on supervised learning, supervised learning. And the algorithm that we used uh, was least squares. And we could, what were we trying to do? We were trying to find beta parameters remember our model looked like this something like this beta 0 plus beta 1 x okay something like this for a single input feature and we're trying to find the beta parameters that allow that line to best fit the data and we could solve that using two methods the one is the normal equations go and see what that's about and the second was iterative Remember, the normal equations is just um, a matrix method to immediately solve for those beta parameters. But if your normal equations are not ideal, they're not working properly, uh, you can go look at all these videos. By the way, go check out all these videos on, on the channel, IML20 to IML25. That those are all the videos I made on linear regression to get a recap of this whole thing. Uh, if the normal equations were not working, then we could solve for the beta parameters using an iterative optimization method such as gradient descent. It's not the only one, but that was an example that we, we used. Okay, so that is a recap of linear regression. Now, what is logistic regression? Let's use the same ideas here and, and see how linear re regression compares. Okay, so a quick overview of sorry, logistic regression. Uh, logistic regression is when our output, our data set has a categorical output, a binary classification, for example, male, female, pass, fail, uh, cancerous, not cancerous. Um, you got the loan, you didn't get the loan. Whereas linear regression, um, and by the way, I apologize, for this word regression being in this term logistic regression yeah uh, it's not even though the word regression is there it's not the same as linear regression okay so whenever you see logistic regression we are dealing with a classification problem and a lot of time it's a binary classification problem we're trying to predict a, a one or a zero one or the other again we want to fit a line to the data which means we want we want a model Okay, and 
the way that we, again, what is our cost function? Just like uh, in linear regression, we need a cost function. And this is often the likelihood function. I want you to get used to this idea of what is a likelihood function. And we use something called maximum likelihood. Maximum likelihood to determine the parameters in when we are dealing with the, with this kind of problem okay now in order to get this maximum likelihood we can use perhaps two kinds of algorithms one is the gradient descent and the other one is Newton's method okay so this is a kind of just a quick comparison between linear regression and logistic regression the one is continuous output the other one is a categorical output Cost functions for linear regression are residual sum of squares, mean squared error, those types of cost functions. The cost function for logistic regression is a likelihood function. And for, and, and for linear regression, we are trying to minimize the, these cost functions, the, the, the squared error. Okay, And we've got a couple of methods for linear regression to determine the parameters. For logistic regression, we use maximum likelihood we want to maximize the likelihood and we can use gradient descent newton's method okay and um, and you'll see as we go on in the in the next couple of videos that this is a probabilistic supervised learning method okay so this likelihood function which is our cost function really is um deals with probabilities what uh, uh so it, it falls under the probabilistic supervised learning. All right. Okay. I think that's good for now. In the next one, we will just continue diving deep into logistic regression.